Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out something really exciting, the newly launched Backfire Ranger X5. Now, at a glance, it's easy to think this is just another iteration of the X3, but trust me, there's a lot more beneath the surface. What sets the X5 apart is a groundbreaking feature. It's the world's first electric skateboard with an ambient LED deck. That's also, wait for it, Flexible. Yes, you heard that right, flexible. We've seen a bunch of electric boards with ambient LED systems, such as the super powerful Zealot X, but they all share one drawback. Their decks are super stiff. This is where the X5 revolutionizes the game. The Ranger X5 isn't just about lighting up your ride with those cool LEDs, it's about bringing an unmatched level of flexibility to these LED decks. This is crucial for those of us who love to carve and maneuver with ease. If you're after a board that lets you carve like a pro while standing out with its unique LED flare, the Ranger X5 is the one for you. But hold on, there's a lot more to this board than meets the eye. Let's dive deeper and explore the other unique features that make the X5 a game changer in the world of electric skateboards. The Backfire X5, like its predecessors, has many really thoughtful and useful accessories that are also extremely cool and also not available anywhere else. The first thing I did when I received the X5 was adding three more accessories, which give it a completely different look. The first accessory is the carbon fiber spoiler system. It adds about 200 horsepower to the board. I know this is a hot take because some people don't like spoilers on skateboards, but I love high wing spoilers and all my vehicles have high wing style spoilers on them, except for my skateboards. Now the Ranger X5 completes my collection of unnecessary spoilers on everything I own. With all jokes aside, this accessory adds so much more character for the X5 and makes it quick to stand out from the crowd. Best of all, it's functional as well. These higher elevated wings are prime positions to place your rear LED taillights so you can be more visible. And best of all, this entire spoiler structure, inclusive of the wing and the stems, is so solidly built that I use it as a handlebar on a daily basis with zero problems. The other extremely useful accessory are the mud guards, which are so useful during winter times like this, when the road is generally dry, but because there are still pockets of melting ice here and there. This makes it safe for me to ride across small wet areas without shooting up all the mud up on my pants and in my face. On boards that don't have this mud flap, I always end up looking like someone just pooped massive diarrhea on me on a wet day. Plus, it really enhances the look of the board, making it a lot more tankish looking. Lastly, the front handlebar, simple, easy to install, sturdy, works well with the high wing spoiler as a set of handlebars when you need to carry your board, really adds to the look of the X5. As you can probably tell already, this board is all about the looks. Once you turn on the LEDs, it's game over. Every kid and adult will want to flag you down and chat you up. The Ranger X5 is just out of this world. With its accessories and LED system, the X5 can show off and leave deep impressions in both low light and bright environments. This is probably a really good time to talk about the functionalities of all the LEDs on the Ranger X5. This board has two extra wild lights on the bottom left and bottom right of the board. They turn red when brakes are applied, but otherwise remain white. They add a little bit of contrast to the board's all red color design. The X5's LED light has a few standard modes, similar to the ambient LED system on other Backfire boards. When you double click the power button while the board is on, you can cycle through different modes which are solid, breathing, blinking, and completely off. And when you plug the X5 in to charge, the ambient LEDs also turn on to indicate that it's plugged into the outlet. You can of course turn it off if it's too bright. Also Backfire specifically mentioned that you don't need to be concerned about the edges of the board or the LEDs being fragile and get damaged easily. The edges of the board are treated with protective materials, so your board won't be damaged from simple bumps and scrapes. Also note the edge of the board is red, unlike the Zealot X where the edge is uncolored. I just wanted to mention this because even during the day, with your lights turned off, your board will still have this awesome red accent stripe along the entire edge of the deck. Damn, 
So all this talk, and I haven't even gotten to the performance section yet, the Ranger X5 uses powerful dual 1500 watt hub motors that's in the shape of a disc. These are the most powerful hub motors that I know of in a production board. The X5 has a mellow low speed start, but then really finds that acceleration boost around 10 to 15 miles per hour, and it just keeps going and going, but these motors are noticeably softer than that of the Zealot X's acceleration, which costs exactly the same as the Ranger X5. The X5 isn't going to win you any drag races. It's meant to be a low maintenance, high convenience, ultra dependable cruiser and carver that also happens to look great with countless accessories and surrounded by ambient LEDs. When it comes to top speed, the Ranger delivers. The X5 can still go fast up to 26 miles per hour. What's really astonishing is that it accelerates to that speed extremely quietly. I can say I never hear the motors. The only thing I hear are the wind and the sound of the tires racing on the ground. One advantage of a quiet board is the ability for the rider to hear anything wrong with the board. I had a loose screw on the front truck after I added the handlebar, and I can immediately hear something's loose before I even left the driveway of my own house. I am always a show-off type person who want loud motor screams. But these motors are growing on me because they are so quiet, people passing by have to ask if it's electric because they think I'm just gliding without a motor. One of the downsides of having pneumatic tires is that I have to check the air pressure on every wheel on every ride. I've also had the walk of shame when I had punctured tires with no spares in my backpack. The tires on the Ranger X5 are airless rubber tires. That means they are never flat. Personally, I love pneumatic wheels because of the comfort. However, these rubber tires are almost just as good at a similar comfort level, but with huge upside for convenience, as you never need to fill the tires with air, nor worry about punctured tires, ever. Last thing I want to highlight are these trucks currently installed on the X5. They are functionally great when carving. However, when you take off all the screws on the base plate, the truck doesn't just fall off the deck. Nearly every truck I have uses a two-piece system, which if you remove all the screws, the bottom part under the board would just fall off. So you always need to catch it and prevent it from falling. But with these backfire trucks, that does not happen. The truck still stays on the deck even after you remove all the bolts. Trust me, this may look like nothing, but this design makes adding and exchanging accessories such as shred lights or a handlebar much easier and saves a lot of time. I still have a lot more to test, such as top speed, winter range test, tire life expectancy, tire grip test, other accessories I can buy, off-road performance and warm temperature performance, etc. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss my future updates on this board. Also, I am running a raffle for a $1,000 electric skateboard right now. Enter by making a comment down below and hitting the subscribe button. The event period to enter will end on the last day of February 2024. Following me on TikTok or Instagram will give you two additional entries. Since I'm a small channel, your chance to win is huge. Good luck.